Hello everyone, it's Varkut here. And in this episode, I'm going to be building a log exchange system to bring logs to one point and then to another point. Because the zip lines can only be a certain length unless you're using the ultimate cheat menu, which allows you to build it unlimited. Though I'm not using the ultimate cheat menu and people on PlayStation 4 aren't. And a lot of people just don't like using them in general. So I'm going to make a way to bring logs to one point and then move it to the next as fast as possible. Are you ready? So, what we're going to do is I'm going to place a custom foundation to line up with uh, where I'm going to place the zipline. This is going to be the highest point I can find. There's some points that are higher, but they're more further away. So I've got to run it over to where I plan to place the zipline. Now, this is very far where I'm traveling. I'd almost have to build three ziplines to get the logs there, but I'm going to stretch it out as far as I can get it. Just shimmy my way down here, and then we move along. Let's play hopscotch across the waters. Oh, lovely. So much fun. Ah, oh, crap, they're here. I don't want to deal with you right now. I'm planning crap. Okay, so probably around here is a good place for it. I think anyway. Let's go and place that. Now, I'm going to have to place a zip line above that height for it to be able to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a zip line like this. And I'm going to build some rock walls underneath it. That way, I'll be able to extend the pillars. I've actually never done this before. Get the zip line out. Let's see if I can get it to stack on top of here. Okay, I can't. So what I'm going to do is stuff all that. Clear that. Just wasted a few rocks. That's okay. Just creating a rectangle type shape. Cancel those. I don't need them. Get some more rocks. And build it up again. Cancel the middle sections. While I'm collecting rocks, I'm actually collecting sticks as well, so I might as well keep them. It's a good reminder too to work with that. Okay, so that should be high enough. It's close. That is close. So what I'm going to do is build that and just build it a bit lower on the other side. I needed one log for this. Cheapest chops, bro. And I should in place it very straight, did I? Well, it's only just wide enough. But that should work. So I'm going to run over and place it. And I've got to keep in mind to place it a little bit lower. Now, piss off, you mongoloids. Now, you can jump up here, though it's quite tricky. It's this part here that's hard. There we go. It took me three attempts, but I got there in the end. Okay, I think that's the max length there. And that's under. Max length is 15 ropes. That actually used to be a lot more expensive. I just placed the drying rack here. So I can dry this meat, not waste it. Yeah, I've got nothing I can eat unless I go back to my base, which I don't want to do. That'll do. I don't care. So now, before I complete this, I want to build a gazebo over it. So I'm going to make the Zebulon's Nest Log Catcher. Struggling to see a little bit with uh, the trees and leaves in the way. So what I might do is just knock them down. I'll have to knock a few of these down anyway because they're in the way. Oh, it's this tree that's blocking my view mainly. What I might actually do is um, save. This is a big commitment. It's going to take ages. And I don't want to stuff it up. One stick, you albatross. Because I haven't built one of these log catchers in a while. There was a mod. It's still out there. You can still get it. That allows you to automatically catch logs that come in on the other end. Yeah, so that looks right. So I'm going to build that. All these logs I just cut down. Should build a rabbit trap around here. Uh, it looks like they might be just over there. Let's see light. Let's see them run past though. Okay, I just need sticks. It's really dark and <laughs> it's scary, man. So I might head back and finish up this night. Get some sticks along the way. Cause there ain't many here, man. I ain't many at all. Oh Jesus! I seen a thing there, and I was like, oh. I should check if that's a raccoon. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to run into heaps of raccoons here, I think. Though the raccoon skin doesn't have much use as of yet. I'm not going to explain how this nest works, a uh, log catcher. I'll put a link in the video so you can go and watch on how to do it. Because I cover a lot more in that video rather than just repeating myself here. Holy crap, I got a lot of calories I've got to burn. I can't sleep yet, so I might as well just burn them off. Ah, close enough. Can't be stuffed. Okay, time to eat 
Three meters is what I'm usually doing. I should be doing more so I don't go over. Though I don't plan on swinging my weapon that much. Hey friend. Okay, need a few more sticks to finish this one off. Might just cut down this little tree here. These turn into stick trees when they drop. Oh, cutting down trees with a machete is a sure fine way to upgrade your strength. Piss ant little thing. A uh, big thing is, is I don't play with tree regrowing mode on. I like to keep it a little bit more realistic. Alright, uh, there's my gazebo. I'm going to use the logs from over that end to finish this off. And I'm going to go and hit up the rope hut and the main cannibal village for me ropes. So what I might do while I'm here, on this side of the fence, is make a zip line running over to the other side. Just while I'm here. So I can initiate the placement when I get up to the other side, I'll just finish it off. When you're doing things like this, you generally can have a lot of peace because they won't really show up at your base if you're not there. I really hope I can place this. I you hate it when you run across animals when you're trying to place a blueprint. You can't freaking get them. Uh, okay, looks like I can. What I might do is place it here and then that uh, big tree stump will block it. So I'll come through and stop there. Okay, that looks like it's working. I'm going to cancel this. God, I really hope that's going to work. What I might do, because I'm going to be spending a fair bit of time here. See if I can catch some rabbits. Why can't I see the schematic thing for how much is required? I can't see it. There we go. I better place a rabbit cage just in case I do catch something. Let's place it over here. There we go. I'll just place a quick shelter here too. God, that was so close to breaking that. Save. God, that animal trap isn't going to last long with me doing this crap, eh? Place a drying rack as well. Energy Mix Plus. For all your energy needs, take an Energy Mix Plus. So I'm going to go raid this cannibal village, and I'm going to get all the rope I can find. So one, two, three, four. I've got 30 athleticism on my first day, right? It's day 30 and I've got 30. <laughs> it's about 3,000% more effective doing it the way I did it in the first episode. Got to remember to drop off my sticks. Okay, so at the rope hut, there's three ropes here. Oh, sh crap, I just placed the rope on the wrong one. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. And they're showing up. Shut up. <laughs> it's stuck in block mode. I wonder if I can find any channels. Can I get the rabbit this way? Yeah, I can. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a few over there. I wonder if this is going to be an effective way to take him down. This is glitching, I know. Come on. Ah, oh, look at all his teeth. It's disorientating swimming the weapon around like this. There we go. Any of you still alive? Yep, you. Let's take this. Uh, is there any more? <laughs> Anyone else want a piece of this? <laughs> I'm aware this is glitching, but it's just fun to play around with. I've been able to trigger it quite a bit lately. Uh oh, he was up in the tree. Were you watching this whole time? Cheeky little shot. Now, where's that rabbit I killed? There it is. Who said melee combat was no good? <laughs> Bows can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't have much cloth, so that's why I'm not making rope. I completely got sidetracked as to what I was doing. Now this is going to be really painful for me to try and get rope without saving and exiting and just allowing it to respawn. But you got to do what you got to do, eh? I don't want to glitch too much of this game. I'm already glitching far more than I wanted to. This is completely random, but I cooked sausages at 12 p.m. last night, midnight, and I ate five of them. Then I'm doing a hypertrophy workout, so I need it. I need the calories. That's my justification at eating junk. <laughs> so I found one rope. I don't want to do it. I keep freaking doing it. It's going down and bloody to the modern axe part. So it respawns down there. I think there's rope down there. Maybe. 
I don't really feel like going down there. I don't really feel like going anywhere. I just want to build these freaking zip lines, man. I plan to have a big zip line system all around the map. So what I might do, set up K7. I think there's a rope in here. Let's go and have a look in this little K section here. Okay, yep, there's one, two. Oh, there's heaps of booze in here. Why is it all in the cave walls? Why are they doing that? Oh man, what am I gonna upgrade? I have no idea. Timmy's toy. Oh, I can't take upgrades. I might put some more damage on the club. That speed's being reduced to zero. It's all in the walls. Four booze in the walls. The walls have all the answers. Okay, so there was two ropes in here, if you're wondering. I might pop down to where the modern axe is. I should eat, what do you reckon? Ah, oh, I'm infected. <gasps> I'm burning more than I actually have. I think at this rate, I'm going <laughs> out to this place every episode. Two electrical tapes makes it worth it. And back out we go. I think it's night time. And I'm just going to recoup my stamina before I go out there. Who knows what's waiting above? Nobody talks like that, fuck it. Ah, oh, looks like nothing's waiting for me. Yeah, this is going to take forever. I might save and exit. Probably normally I wouldn't, but... I'm recording at the same time, so it's just much more footage for me to edit if I have to do all this. Plus, I want to keep it focused on the building the log catcher. I'm not going to sleep tonight. Just going to focus on getting this rope. Oh, here's a trick. Well, it's not really a trick because you'll probably very rarely see it. If you spawn into the game and you come across cannibals or mutants straight away, it means that there is a spawn spot nearby them, or they might be on it. Depends how quick you came across them. Uh, four ropes in the main cannibal village. I'm not playing with the flags on, so I have to know where I'm going. I guess it's just a little bit more of an extra challenge. I think the flags take away a bit of the immersion as well. Seeing these little icons all over your screen. Uh, need three more, so rope hut should do me. Do me hard! God, I'm getting really lost. <laughs> Can't really see where I'm going, plus I'm stretching my neck while I'm doing this. God, I got really lost, eh? Daytime. Oh, I should really eat. Should be carrying around dried meat with me. Here we go. Done. Ah, this looks dried. Okay, so what I'm going to do to make this a little bit more accessible is trim the floor underneath it. Oh, I caught something. What did I catch? Oh, it's a rabbit. I don't know why I'm not seeing my icons. To make this a little bit easier to see, place some lights up there. Oh god, that's a terrible placement. There we go. I don't want to test that out, because I don't know what's in the way. I have to save beforehand. If there's a tree in a way, it's going to make me fall off, and I could die. Please don't fall off. Yep, there's a tree. Well, that's easily taken care of. I'll cut down a few. I don't know what's actually in the way and what's not. I also should do this one. There's quite a few trees in the way from this. It's a deer. Cut off his ass. Ooh, I just heard an armsy. It sounds like he's down in the fertiles. Let's go investigate. There he's down there. There's cannibals down there too. Uh, I don't want to bring them up here. If I shoot them, they'll charge all the way around and come around. I just don't want to deal with it right now. So to finish off the log catcher, we're going to place the logs. Right, how's that look? Uh, it looks pretty good. I'll go with that. Oh, what am I doing? Don't want to block the entrance. There we go. Yeah, be careful not to trap yourself in there. Achoo! Okay, that's done. How many ropes left? Ooh, that's a lot. I'd like to test it out now. Better remove the trees out of the way. I also should note that you've got to be careful provoking things like... They are down there, but if you provoke them, they can glitch up the cliff. Though the usual path thing stops them. Unless they see you. Okay, stuff it. I'm just going to use 
cloth to make the rope for this. It's gonna hurt. There we go. Oh, sweet. It's working. Nah, I'm gonna save beforehand because I don't know if I'm gonna hit something and fall off and die. The trees don't have collision at the top of them. So I probably will pass through some trees, but because I'll be passing through the top of them, I shouldn't collide. Yeah, sweet. And... It's working. Oh, those arms and stuff are. I hope they're still down there. Oh, that was close. Okay, time to do some stuff. So I cut down some trees and load up the zip line. How many is 50 is the max? So I might cut down 10 trees and test out this thing. Three, four, five, six, seven, refuel, eight, nine, ten. Ah, it seems I've woken up the populace. Jesus, they're everywhere. I'll try the crossbow. Ah, oh, stuff it. They're not wanting to fight, so they're just dancing around. It's like if you ignore them for long enough, they'll eventually come after you. Oh, they're destroying my crap. Oh, I got the block bug again. <laughs> oh, it's becoming more and more regular that I'm getting this. That's a good way to take down stick trees. Ah, oh, lost it. Oh good, I'm not really planning on exploiting this too much. Ah, oh, come on, man. Oh, he's easy to kill. Must have really hurt him before. Place the bone basket. Drop all these bones in there. Oh, we're doing a lot of killing here. You usually do it places like this. He's only spending a fair bit of time here. Might destroy the fire mounting because I'm more worried about actually walking through it. There's one benefit of doing it like this way, I've got a jump to put them on, is that I don't put them on too quickly. I've got a habit of doing that. So jump, place, jump, place. Should probably build a log cart, but they're not that far away. Oh, I hope you know this uh, thing I was mentioning it before. Don't ever cut down more than 10 or 11 trees. If there's more than 50 logs on the ground, they'll start despawning. Oldest ones first. So it'll be hard to tell that they're actually despawning. It's to improve the performance of the game. Who jabber? This looks realistic, doesn't it? I think so. It's still being held up. It's not exactly floating. I would have cut a smaller hole, but you can't adjust the size of the hole cutter. Unless you've got ultimate cheat menu on. Balls. Okay, it looks like I've got all the logs, or most of them. I can't see anymore. And there's an armsy nearby, and I just don't want to deal with that. So I'm going to get out of here. Let's go. Please work, fingers crossed. Oh, thank God. It's working. Probably 50 logs is a little too many to put in here. Maybe I should reduce it to 40. Freaking rock, go away. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so I'll line this up with this so I can keep it clean looking to some extent. I'll upgrade them because they're not that much more expensive. Go around and get stick trees. Pick up the rogue logs that are floating away. I might watch how it works after a while and figure out if I, where I can place a stick fence or something. Stop them rolling away so badly. I'm infected again. Anal beads. There we go. Oh, it's one of those stick trees. Doesn't take much to cut them down. Yeah, they drop four sticks and they're really thin so it's easy to tell which ones are stick trees they're in random places around the map there's a lot near geese lake if you actually want to find them but they're pretty useless and i'll place some lights around here of course i need more sticks for these there we go i wonder if there's any more logs let's place a basic wall there and just store it in that cancel it when i want it back <laughs> i can't say i've ever done that before there's a first time for everything. Go finish off these lights here. Oh, there was a spare log. What was that? Hidden. 
Anyway, that's enough for one episode. Ode, ode. So what I'm going to do in the next one is finish off the exchange. So what that means is that I'm going to have a way to bring them over here. I might have to use a crane, I might not. I'll see how I go. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers. Mm -hmm.